good for this actually. Okay. The tighter the better when it comes to this trick. So this is why you should never handcuff somebody at the front. Okay. I'm going to show you how to break a set of handcuffs. You're actually going to break the chain? I'm going to break the chain. Now, I'm not strong enough to just snap these and that would hurt really bad on the wrist. Are these real then? These are like... real cuffs. These are regulation police handcuffs. There's nothing fake about them. And actually, the better quality the cuffs are, the easier this is. Well, that How does that sound make right. sense? It's yeah. because good quality cuffs are made of hardened steel. So cheaper cuffs will bend, whereas uh, just good quality cuffs will end up snapping. Why are you spinning them like that? This is the entire trick to it. What I'm doing here is I'm spinning and I'm pulling in and out. And I want them to bind up. I want them to kind of lock into each other. Now this is I the don't hardest understand part. How you're locking them in though? They're just spinning around each well, other. Well, you're going to see in a second. It sometimes takes a couple minutes to get them to bind up, but once they bind up, I can use the leverage against itself. So right now I'm just going in and out and around each other until I get to a point. I think I get it. So you're you're going to get them tangled so that that you're going to use the chains against each other. Yeah, I'm going to use the leverage of the cuffs against itself. So this is the hardest part of the whole thing, is just getting it around, kind of in and out and around itself until it gets to a point that it locks up. So not quite. So cheaper cuffs don't do this? Cheaper cuffs will, but... Uh, but they, they, but they, the metal will bend before it breaks. Right. Okay. So obviously this wouldn't work with hinged cuffs and it wouldn't, it'd be really hard to do behind your back. I'm not, not sure that it's impossible, but... What is this technique used for? This is actually oh, a special oh. ops thing. This is like special forces, uh, like green beret type thing. Of And it's it's not to get out of the actual cuffs because the, the parts around my wrist are still going to be there. But it'll free me up to be able to fight or escape or whatever I needed to do. So... You just make badass bracelets. Right. So... Can I keep them when you're done? Yeah. Okay. okay, there you go. Oh, 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 you had it, you had it, you had it. had it. So why don't you just loop the chains over the little nubs? It won't work that way. Um, I've only done this once before, so I'm not good at it. I'm sure with practice. You, you could get, get it quicker. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sure yeah. You could. oh. oh. Am, I gonna, am I in the way here? No. Nope. I just have to get that bound up. Can I help? To, like... No. It... It's really, there's not like a, I mean, I'm, there might be a way to actually do it every time, but. Oh, oh, there, oh there. okay, okay, okay. Okay, now let's see if I can get that into a position. Okay. Still? Oh, oh come on. Okay, here we go. I think I'm in position. Let's see if I can get it. So does you see hurt? how they're bound up? Yes, yeah. it does. You see how they're bound up there? Let's yeah. see if this works. Just Whoa. like that. It sheared it right off at the connecting point, and my hands are free to fight, to move, to do whatever I need well, to do. 